baskets. You're basically sewing with wood, with ash. It's a talent Teresa Secord actually learned later in life, not weaving her first basket until the age of 30. This was your great-grandmother's? Great-grandmother's. Still, it's not far-fetched to say basket making was in Teresa's blood. Today, she weaves with some of the very same tools her great-grandmother used, tools her ancestors hand-carved in the 1800s. I feel so privileged to weave um, with my great-grandmother's tools and, and um, you know, to be the next generation in my family after many generations. Teresa's style of Indian basket making from ash trees and hand-picked coastal sweetgrass dates back hundreds of years. The tribal basket makers are like a lot of Maine people, you know, we work hard and, and, you know, there's a lot of rich history and culture in Maine that really just transcends tribal tradition too that we all can be proud about. A highly acclaimed artist, a celebrated advocate. Two decades ago, traditional basketry in Maine was on the verge of vanishing. The number of authentic tribal weavers below the age of 50 had dwindled to fewer than a dozen. So, in an all-out effort to rekindle enthusiasm, Teresa formed the Maine Indian Basket Makers Alliance. We just really kind of reconnected the marketing, the teaching, and workshop opportunities for young tribal basket makers 20 years ago to help make sure we didn't lose that. Two decades later, Teresa's efforts have helped lead to a renaissance. Interest is up, the average age is down. Tribal weavers are thriving. Now we have young basket makers in their 20s and 30s who are winning major art awards and selling individual baskets for upwards of $20,000 and higher. They're not your typical craft store baskets. In fact, many of Teresa's most recent works hardly resemble baskets at all. But each is still meticulously woven using the same traditional methods and materials passed down through generations. It's such an important piece of Maine heritage too, you know, in addition to Native American heritage. A heritage Teresa Secord wasn't about to let time unravel. I think, you know, that the place that people have reached, you know, in the basketry with the awards and the recognition ensures that this art will continue long into the future.